because he's the closest person I've ever met to being an astronaut. Concord in the road Kelly green uniforms. They have white numbers trimmed in black, worse on the home white uniforms with orange numbers trimmed in black. Tigers working from near end to far as we look at it here from our corner of the gymnasium. And Warsaw wins the tip, and Sands gets run into right away, and he's holding that hit. We haven't even played five minutes, and Sands has got a ding. Warsaw will run their Iowa set right off the bat, or they'll line up that way. Sands with it, now to Hoskins. Hoskins lobs the right wing for Cody Freeman, down to the baseline for Sands. Sands is trapped along the sidelines, tried to bounce it out, but the ball was kicked. And Warsaw maintains possession. Jared Long, a 5'8 sophomore, kicked the ball for Concord. Seems to throw it in with no problem. He gets it into Hoskins. Now the right side to Freeman. It's a 2-3 zone, but it's not your traditional 2-3 zone. Sands on the right side. Back out to Hoskins. Left side to Mangus. Mangus on the wing, back to Hoskins. Hoskins bounces to the right, throws it to Freeman. Tried to flip it inside to Hollers, taken away. Long with a steal, quick pass up ahead through Poindexter's hands and into the Warsaw bench, so the Tigers get it right back. Yeah, you can see right now with their 2-3 with their zone, they're, they're pretty quick to get to the ball area, so they're, they're not really matching up with it straight away, but the, once the first initial pass happens, then they do match up. Hoskins right side to Freeman. Freeman picks up his dribble out to one, down to the baseline, Sands, he'll touch it inside to Holler, who got free this time, but he missed the shot. Mangus on the other side puts it back up, no good, and the rebound grabbed by Corey Phillips for Concord. So Warsaw with two chances from inside the block on either side of the basket, and they get nothing, and Conquer with their first real offensive possession. Long, deep right corner. Goes out to Poindexter. Poindexter gets the start. Their high school quarterback, Trevor Wilmore, got sick today and didn't make the trip. Three-pointer in the corner, no good. Taken there by McMahon, rebound to the Tigers. Hoskins in the front court. Goes left for Freeman, back to Hoskins, to the right side for Sands. Sands looking, double team for a moment. Now to Mangus and across the top for Hoskins. At the foul line to Holler, he's surrounded by Green Church in the corner. Freeman, higher team three is good. Cody Freeman with his eighth three-pointer of the year, and Warsaw has the lead. And he's been on a roll there for the past two or three games. He, he's been able to hit at least one or two threes. On the inbounds, Brent Austin brings it toward the timeline. He'll bring it across the line up the near sideline. Now he's trapped. Looking to get rid of it, and did up the sidelines to McMahon. McMahon stumbles up the sidelines, then brings it back out. His pass out top is stolen away. Sands races down court, lays it up, and he missed it. And the rebound's grabbed by Long. He was so wide open that he just airmailed the rim. So Warsaw gives up two more points there, and Concord has the ball in the front court. McMahon roughed up there by Freeman, roughed up some more, and finally the whistle sounds. It'll be an on-shooting foul. Cody Freeman got one foul at it for the price of three. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yep. And we'll get a substitution for the Minutemen. Ryan Tempe will check into the game for Jim Reed's team. Jim Reed, a former Triton Trojan back in the 90s, and an excellent, excellent player for the Trojans back in the day. Tempe will throw it in right down here below us. Bob's out for Poindexter. Poindexter around Hoskins to the hoop, flips it up and missed it. And the rebound is pinballed around by two Tigers and right to Hoskins for Warsaw. Up ahead, waist high to Sands. Back to Hoskins, back to the right side, and there was nobody there. And it's out of bounds to Concord. So a sloppy start for these two teams. Right now, with, with uh, that, that, that last layup that, that Sands missed, it could, could contribute back to not practicing for a couple yeah. days and just having your timing off. Yep. I would totally give it to that. Poindexter against pressure. Up the sidelines, beats Hoskins, lost the ball, but got it back in the left wing. Then threw it right through the hands of Phillips. It goes all the way across to Tepe. Then he tries to lob it in the post, and that's knocked out, and Brett Austin has it. He'll run down the lane, shoot up lefty, no good, and the rebound is Sands, and we'll have a held ball. And the arrow belongs to Concord. Peyton Long will check into the game for Warsaw. Sands will come out. This is going to be kind of a temperature check, so to speak, at 3.09 of the quarter. How are you? How are you feeling? Yeah, it will, it will be so. Uh, and just give him some water just to get, because you, you want him to get dehydrated early in the game. Austin outside the lane to the left. Poindexter kicks it to the far corner. Tepe, who's falling out of bounds, so he throws, throws it back to McMahon, who leans in and shoots and scores. And there's a foul to play. Danny McMahon with a first two for Concord at the three minute mark of the period. And a chance for a three point opportunity and a chance to tie the game. And a foul called against the Tigers. And that'll be on Johnny Holler for Warsaw. That's his first and the team's second. And now McMahon at the free throw line. Jim Reed gave us some stats, so we're glad to have that. McMahon's their leading scorer at 12 points per game. 
He also grabs about four rebounds a game. He's a 68% free throw shooter, and he got that one, and we're tied at three. Well, you see that right now in their 2-3 zone, they may be doing that a little bit more, too. They're going to extend it. Here comes the trap. And they get it to Holler at the foul line. Back to Cup Mangus underneath the basket. He missed the layup. And the rebound grabbed by Concord. McMahon outlets to midcourt. Poindexter down the lane, flipped it off to the Phillips. And Phillips was so surprised that he had the ball, he traveled with it. Yeah, he did. Because <laughs> um, Poindexter was like like maybe six feet, not oh, even yeah. six feet, four feet from the basket. And he thought he was going to shoot it. And then they know he gets passed. Well, I thought he should have shot it. Yeah. He, he'd done the hard part. He'd he did beaten two Tigers and was right in the middle of the basket area, and he just did not pull the trigger. Tim Swanson in the game for Warsaw has it. He's trapped out the long. Left side to Hoskins. Hoskins back to long. Right side to Swanson. Down in deep for Holler. He's surrounded by three great green shirts. Lost it. Got it right back. Kicks it across to Hoskins. Hoskins above the foul line for long. Hoskins at the left wing. Back to long. Long to the right wing for Tim Salmon, or for Tim uh, Swanson. Hoskins steps up into a 17-footer straight out, no good, and the rebound grabbed by Phillips for Concord. It's still 3-3. We played four minutes of the opening quarter, and Tepe is going to be called for carrying the ball. Yeah, and Coach Reed just shook his head. He goes, yeah, you did. You put your hand on the bottom of it, so. And here comes Big John Lajeta into the game, 6'4 sophomore. He'll check in for Jake Mangus at the two-minute mark. On the opening quarter, a three-point basket by Cody Freeman and a three-point play for Danny McMahon as is tied at three apiece. Hoskins right side for Swanson. Swanson back out to Hoskins. Left side for Holler, who's out on the wing. Back to Hoskins out top. Hoskins one dribble left, throws it for Long. Long up the baseline, shoots it up in traffic, scores. Peyton Long with his first two of the night. Warsaw leads 5-3, and the Tigers will press. And a nice job by their Peyton, too, because he didn't go too far into that zone. He pulled up and shot it before the, the help side could get there. McMahon at the line, a Husky kid, kicks in the corner. Tepe, he'll try for a three-pointer, and it rattled out. And the rebound to Holler for the Tigers. He flipped it to Lajeda, and Lajeda got hit in the snaz with that one and said, what am I doing this thing? Don't throw it to me. Long now to Hoskins. A minute 14 left in the quarter. Warsaw leads 5-3. In the front court, right side for Swanson. Now Hoskins, right side to Long. Long had the ball poked at, got it back. Hoskins with it, one dribble top of the circle, right corner to Swanson. Down in deep pass, knocked away from behind by Phillips. Tepe takes it away. Then Tepe stumbles into the front court, and he'll bring it back out. 50 seconds left in the quarter. Above the foul line is Phillips. Looking for weaving players, finds Tepe right wing, underneath the basket, kicks out the foul line, jump shot by Austin is way short. Holler's got the rebound for Warsaw. Hoskins in transition up the far side, and he dribbled the ball fancy, and he lost it off his own backside, out of bounds. Yeah, that was called there by, by Austin, because Austin kind of jumped at him two or three times to just, to, just to slow him up, and when he tried to go back between the legs, it went off his heel and went out of bounds. We see that a lot. We see it almost once a game between the girls and the boys, JV and varsity. 35 seconds left to play here in the quarter. Concord with the ball, they also have the possession arrow. McMahon out top for Tepe. Tepe, new kid in there for Concord, that's Austin Danner, a 6'2 sophomore. He's got it on the right wing. Danner out top for McMahon, 18 seconds. Near side for Jared Long, back out top for Tepe. Tepe spelled T-E-P-E. -E. Now here's Austin, back to Tepe, seven seconds. Dribbles right, still with the dribble, four seconds, three. Out top, Austin, two, one. He'll force it up to the buzzer, and he missed it. And that'll do it for the first quarter of play. On the Zale Drug scoreboard, Warsaw five, Concord three after one. We're back to say the Steelers hat that he was wearing. hat he wore coming yeah. in, so. I figured it was just the fact that he didn't have a game for a whole week. He lost his touch. 5-3, <laughs> Warsaw leads Concord in the JV game after one. Well, through the first quarter, Concord is one of seven from the field. Warsaw is just two of seven from the field. Rebounding right now, they're both even at five apiece, and turnovers are even at four apiece. Warsaw with the ball working to the far end. Hoskins with it. Now top for Cody Freeman, who's back in. Hoskins left side to Long. Toward the corner for Holler. Holler holds it above his head, throws it out to Long, around to Hoskins. Back to Long. He shoots a three-pointer. That one hit the backboard first, and the rebound grabbed by Danner for the Minutemen. Outlets far side to Jared Long. Quickly in the front court, McMahon backs his way in on Long, falls away, didn't shoot it. Out top for Tepe. Tepe had the ball stripped away, got it back. 
Dribbles it all the way from the top down to the baseline. Long right in his face as he picks up the dribble in the corner. Goes in the post, and a foul is going to be called. And that'll be Johnny Holler's second at 516 of the second quarter. And so Jason Culver will have to go back to his bench. Yeah, uh, Jared Long that plays for Concord. His dad is Jeff Long who played at Wall with C oh, and played okay. at Grace College, and he was also a JV coach for Concord for, I think, five or six years there for a while. All right. So. And here comes John LaHedda back into the game. Holler will come out with two of the Warsaw three fouls. Concord's not been called for a foul yet, which is not to say anything about the officiating. Warsaw's really missed three wide open shots down underneath the basket. Otherwise, they'd be up by eight points. Not because they were fouled, but because they just missed wide open shots. Other than that, their shots have come from 15 feet out. Austin, a kick out in the corner. Tempe has time to gather and shoot for three, and it's good. And Concord has the lead at six to five. Well, you're being nice there by having time to gather. He caught that ball and spun it. Almost yeah, a complete did. thing in his hand before anybody got there. Long, right side to Freeman for the Tigers. Out top for Long, around to Hoskins. Hoskins lobs back to the near side for Long, and then to the wing for Cody Freeman. Freeman out top for Hoskins. Hoskins, left side for Long. Down to the baseline for Jake Mangus. Right back out to Long. Now to Freeman, around to Hoskins. Hoskins looks to the baseline, finds Long 15 feet out. Dribbles in the corner, bounces out for Hoskins. Back to the right for Long. Long looking inside, not much going on there. Across the top to Hoskins, in the corner, Lajeda. Back out for Hoskins. Shakes free, 18 footer on the way. Rimming, no, they were going to give him three for that. Shot no good. Rebound grabbed by Poindexter for Concord, and he takes off in a hurry. Quick pass up ahead through Danner's hands, but in the corner to Austin. Up the baseline, threw it across to Poindexter, who banks it too high, no good. Rebound tip, but right to Lajeda for Warsaw. Yeah, Poindexter, he tried to shoot that kind of fancy and just instead of just shooting shoot, shoot the regular power layup that's why he missed it four minutes left in the half six to five in favor of concord hoskins dumps it down on the block and a foul's called long will pick up the personal foul as he was guarding mangus in the post and jake was getting ready to school him up and score on him yeah there's two dads that, that played you know, there, there's yes they're years different they didn't yeah, play they, they, they played at the same time but but two guys who i believe are both dads are i think over a thousand point scores for wallace it's very possible. I, I know Jeff is, and, I, and, and, and I, I'm not well, sure about Mangus. I, Mangus is? I would be willing okay. to bet that Mangus is, too. Okay. On the inbounds, they get a Hoskins left corner. Out to Nick Sands, who just checked back in. Back to the left for Hoskins. Inside Mangus in traffic. Bobble, they picked it back up. Freeman right side to Sands. Sands out top to Hoskins. Mangus getting roughed up in there. They lob it down to the corner for Long. Out to the wing. Freeman shoots a three-pointer. That one's no good. Rebound to Pete Long for the Tigers. Right back out to Hoskins. Right side to Sands. Sands looking in. Not much going. Throws her cross for Freeman. Whipped it inside into traffic. Taken away. Stolen away by Long. Long into the front court for Concord. Spins a circle. Back to Austin. Austin runs in. Throws it out for Long. And Jared will set up a play. We're approaching the midpoint of the first half. Actually, the second quarter, and it's six to five Concord. These are two teams that are high-scoring JV offenses. Not tonight. Austin at the elbow kicks it back for Long against Long. Takes him down the baseline. Shot up, rimmed out. Now the rebound to Freeman for the Tigers. Hoskins being guarded in the outlet by Poindexter. Beats him off the dribble. Takes it to the right side. Throws it off for Sands. Sands doesn't shoot the ball. Doesn't even really look at it. He was too far out. Mangus on the right wing. Touch the baseline. Shoots a 15-footer. Got it. Nice job by Jake there. Getting in the gap of the zone. That, that, that's what we need to do to get to the zone because they haven't really spread out. 7-6. Warsaw back up by one. Two and a half minutes left in the half. Austin in the backcourt. Back to Jared Long against Hoskins. Takes him across the line. Then picked up his dribble right away. And threw it wide to Poindexter. And it's going to roll out of bounds. It'll be Warsaw ball with 2.20 left to play in the half. But the one thing they, that we need to do against this zone, if we get the ball reversed, because when we have the ball on the initial first pass, they overload. I mean, they got four guys on that oh, side yeah. of the field. If we just get reversed around, we could get some easy shots or maybe even some layups. McMahon in for Jared Long for Concord. Austin's also out of the game, and Phillips is back in. Warsaw with the ball and a one-point lead. These two teams combined to score 90 points a game, which is pretty impressive at the JV level. I'm pretty sure they're not going to make it to a 50 to 45 score here tonight. Hoskins, top of the circle, backs it out. Right side for Tim Swanson, who also checked back in for Warsaw. 
Now out top for Sands, left side Hoskins. Blows by Poindexter, pull up 12 footer, rim short. And a rebound to Phillips for Concord. Great outlet, great catch by Poindexter, two on one. Poindexter runs in the lane and missed the layup. Rebound grabbed by Sands. He's being chased by Poindexter. He got caught and got it taken away. Stolen away by McMahon. In on Hoskins to the hoop and a whistle and the ball's knocked out of bounds. Should have been a foul there on the Tigers as it is Concord has the ball out of bounds underneath the basket. And we'll have a timeout taken. Timeout Concord with a minute 40 left to play here in the first half. This will be a 30 second timeout. Let's keep it here. This has been very sluggish. These are two teams that played very good basketball up to this point in the season and they're not so much playing it right now. Yeah, it is. It's, it's just, I don't know if it's just a, I don't want to say a time off because they needed some of that time off, but I think Concord played Tuesday night they against did. Elkhart Central, so. And they beat them 44 to 20. Yeah, so, you know, it could, you know, along the, like you said, well, like Concord, ha they, they, they have a guy missing, so that kind of, so at the Javer level, you know, that sometimes the, that, that plays with, with a psyche of a guys, and then, you know, with, with our guys, that, you know, like you said, we've missed at least three, if not four, wide open shots underneath the basket. So there's another eight points for us. You know, we're looking, at, that's only 14. So, you know, what, right now what they're doing is the, 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 neither team is forcing shots. They're getting reversals two or three times on their offenses, so that's why there's not many points right now. Concord to throw it in. It's tepid right here below us. Or a big number 12 in white numbers on the back of his uniform. And the whistle sounds and away we go. Tuppy to throw it in. Looking, finds McMahon in the deep right corner for three. It's no good. A battle for the rebound. Knocked out of bounds by Swanson for Warsaw. It remains Concord ball. And that time Warsaw blocked out and just got a bad break. The ball went yeah. over everybody's head. And, and that's one thing they needed to prove on, because we saw that last week in Scotia, they didn't do a good job of uh, making contact. On the inbounds, they tried to lob it in for Phillips. It was taken away by Swanson. Sands racing down court, lays it up. No good, might have been deflected. Rebound grabbed by Tepe. Here comes Poindexter, quickly down court to Phillips. He'll fake and shoot and score, and Concord has the lean back with a minute 20 left. Up the sidelines, Hoskins against full court pressure. Lobs back to Mangus. Mangus at the line for Hoskins. Probably travel, lost the ball, and a foul is going to be called against the Minutemen. Let's see who they got for that foul. I think Tempe is going to be the one who ends up getting it. It is, and that'll be his first. It's only the second called against Concord in the game. So it'll be out of bounds at midcourt with a minute 10 left. Well, that time against their half court or three quarter court press, they had nobody in the middle. We no. just, we're just trying to dribble through it. Hoskins, right side to Swanson. We're down to a minute to play in the half. Concord leads by one. Left side, Nick Sands. Sands guarded by Poindexter. Double teamed, whistle, he traveled. He dragged his foot. So Sands, who we knew was sick a lot of the week, missed some practice time, is having a hard time negotiating much of anything. He's missed a couple of shots from down in close and turned it over right there with 55 seconds left. Concord has a chance to advance their lead, which is currently won, and they have the possession arrow. Tappy into the front court, races through the Tiger defense, lost the handle on the ball, Sands took it away. Nick doesn't know if he can dribble or not, and so he gets it to Swanson, who hands off to Hoskins, and now Warsaw's got the ball back with 40 seconds left to play in the half. Hoskins at the line, gets it across. Concord backs up, and Jason Culver looks like he'll play for the last shot. Tepe creeping close enough to force the official to come over and start a count, but then he'll throw it off the sands and he'll hold the ball. 18 seconds left. They look back at Jason Culver for the play. 13, out 12. Hoskins being pressured out top. Right side for Cody Freeman. Eight seconds, seven in the corner sands. Five seconds, four at the foul line. Double teamed, off balance shot, forced it up. Rimming, no. Tipped out and grabbed by Phillips, and that'll do it for the half. The Warsaw Tigers with just two points in that quarter. Concord has five in the softball and baseball programs. So that's going to be pretty exciting. That'll be next week. They sold out of fish last year, yeah. and it was really good because they kept bringing it by. Did you see this? Yeah, thanks a lot. McMahon for Concord leans in, shoots, and scores. And there's a foul on the play at the other end in the opening possession of the third quarter. Freeman's going to get the foul for Warsaw, his second. And McMahon has a chance for his second three-point play of the game. And the, the, way that, the way the weather is going, we might be playing baseball at the end of February. I know it. They still have not put the points up on the board yet. I think he's checking to see it went in. 
Oh, yeah. How did he not know it didn't go in? Well, now it's up on the board. Yep. And they're putting in the foul, which is Freeman second. McMahon with a chance for a three-point play. And the right-hander shoots it up and in. So that gives him six. He's two out of two at the line. And Concord has a huge lead. It's four. And a steal. Point Dexter stole it. Austin down the lane. Shoots up and scores. And the Tigers have come out flat, and Concord's come out flying here in the third. And that's why I thought Concord would pick up their pressure to try, to try and see if they can cause some turnovers. Mangus gets it into Holler. He finds Hoskins underneath the basket. It's man-to-man -man pressure. It sort of goes away. Now they come to trap him at the line. Sands still in the backcourt, and he barely beat the 10 count. Sands to the foul line, pulls up and shoots and hits. Nick finally gets on the board, and Warsaw now trails 13-9. The good news is they're really only a couple baskets out of being right there in the tie game. Jared Long for Concord. Slipped, fell down, but kept the dribble and gets across the timeline. The Curry O'Neill there. A little bit. Poindexter off a high pick and roll, takes the foul line, lost on his way in. Mangus with a steal. Outlets for Hoskins. Up the near sidelines, behind a Freeman through his hands and out of bounds. You yep. just can't, you can't make those kind of mistakes. Those are unforced errors and you're giving away possessions in a game where you scored nine points into the third quarter. McMahon at the line against Freeman. McMahon's a pretty husky kid. Freeman trying to lean on him, and he leaned it a little too hard, and now Cody's got three. And he'll have to go sit down for a little bit. And here comes Peyton Long to check in for the Tigers. The way McMahon's body structure is, if he wants to go, you're gonna to have to either get all the way in front of him or let him go because you're not going to be able to just nudge him to the side and push him out to the corner. No, like you said, he's pretty husky kid, and he can, he can, he's pretty quick with the ball too. McMahon at the left elbow, backs his way down, shoots an off-balance shot, way no, way long, no good. Holler the rebound for Warsaw. Outlets to Mangus, now to Hoskins, and to Long, and they get it in the front court. I think it's the first time I've ever seen four guys touch the ball before it crossed half court when, was, it, when there wasn't a press. No, there was. There was nearly no pressure at all. Mangus at the elbow. Pass inside, thrown away, and saved in by Phillips to Poindexter. Here's the question Jake's got to ask himself there. If Long catches it, what's he going to do with it? Yeah. He can't shoot it from down there. Poindexter right wing to the foul line. Dribbled off his own foot. Taken away by Sands, who from his belly is looking for a teammate and got it back to Long. Long pass up ahead. Holler lays it up and in. And a foul on the play. That was a nice job there by Peyton looking up when he, when he finally got a hold of the ball. He looked up ahead of him and saw Johnny wide open. That was a very odd call. Score the basket. The foul is on Phillips. That's his first. In a transition moment with the official standing right underneath the basket looking right at it. The official 45 feet from it is the one who blew the whistle. Holler to shoot to complete the play, and it rolled around and went through. So Warsaw to within one now, 13 to 12, and the Tigers will press a little bit. They lobbed to midcourt. Holler deflected it, and it went out of bounds off the Tigers. I thought Phillips might have got a hand on that first, but according to the official, he did not. Like you said, both, like, I thought both teams would come out and try and speed things up, and right now is what they're doing. And was, so we've got to score to be able to set, set up our press. 3.50 left to play, third quarter here at the Tiger Den. Roger Grossman and Ray Davis on 102.7 The Fan. Great to have you with us wherever you're listening and however you're listening on the radio, on the Internet, or on the free app, which you can download on your Droid or iPhones. Point Dexter, right side of McMahon, takes long in the lane, off balance shot, rimming no good. Rebound tipped by Holler, grabbed by Sands for Warsaw. And the Tigers have a chance for the lead. Quickly up ahead, long, run into by Phillips. Cross court pass to Mangus with a beautiful head fake, and he scores and a foul to play. Mangus with a beautiful job down inside, and he's got a chance to make it a two point Tiger lead. Warsaw back in front. That was a good job by Peyton Long because he kind of looked the pass off. Looked down to the left block, but then threw it all the way across the lane to find uh, Jake Mangus on, on the right block. Phillips will come out. Tepe in for Concord at 322 of the third. Warsaw 14, Concord 13. Mangus, who had just four points and one rebound at Goshen last Friday, fires and rolls the free throw in. And that gives him five points tonight. And the inbounds pass is deflected out of bounds by Sands. It'll belong to Concord. And Nick Sands didn't like that call at all. Nick don't feel good. You can tell his temperament's a little different. And he got a little upset about that call, more demonstrative than we normally see him. 
Tepe lobs to midcourt to Austin, and he'll be bumped as he got across the line. Jake Mangus picks up the foul. Well, we played that first half, and it was, you know, Warsaw had seven points in two quarters. They already have eight in this quarter. Yeah. Um, and Concord just had eight, and they got, they're got they at five, so that they may each add up their totals here just in this quarter. These are two good JV teams. You didn't expect that to continue. Bad pass on the inbounds. Saints has the ball for the Tigers. Warsaw leading by two. Now at the timeline, Hoskins. Weaves his way to the front court. Sands to the right. Takes it down to the right wing, down to the baseline. Thinks. Throws it back out for Holler. Now to Hoskins. Around the long, wide open. Three pointer. Short, way short. And Tepe grabs the rebound for Concord. He'll dribble around two Tigers to the sidelines. And then lost the ball out of bounds. Oh, they're going to give it back to Concord. Oh, my. Holler took a swipe at it, but I don't think he hit it. No, I, I, I don't think he did either. So on that on that last office possession, we reversed it around to Peyton really well. It was so wide open, Peyton could have driven in and shot the ball maybe about uh, five feet. But when you're catching the rhythm like that, you, which is a good shot on that time also, but he needs to realize how you know next time down how wide open he was. Tanner in for Poindexter for Concord. They get it into Danner in a tough spot. He gets around Hoskins, takes it down the lane, flipped it over Holler, flipped it no good, and he got his own rebound. They'll throw it out for Jared Long for three. That's no good. Rebound tipped in the air and grabbed by McMahon. McMahon down inside, good pass. Danner missed the layup, and the rebound is kept alive by Hoskins and grabbed by Holler. Outlets to Sands. Sands across the line, hits the brakes. Hoskins back to Sands, wide open, gathers up for a three-pointer uh -uh, short. Holler the rebound on the right side. He'll throw it out to Long. Foul line jump shot, good. Nice job by Johnny, but also was a nice job of Peyton to be there for a release foul for him. 17-13. Warsaw scored eight in a row. 2-10 left to play third quarter. And we've seen this a lot by this JV team going on and long runs. Here we go. Long. Inside, flipped up an off-balance shot. Oh, and a late whistle. And they're going to call a foul on Warsaw. I thought he traveled. And Long goes down in a heap. And he is still down. Uh, I think they got Hoskins for the foul. Yeah. They did. That's his first. And we're going to have a timeout taken here by somebody. Looks like a Warsaw timeout. We also have an injury. 2.03 left to play in the third quarter. It's a 30-second timeout, and we're back in 30 seconds on 102.7 The Fan. Hi, John Brooks, Lakeside Chevrolet. You're running out of time to save thousands on any new 2012 Chevrolet. 2012 Traverses with $2,500 rebate or 0% up to 72 months. 2012 Cruises with $1,000 rebate or 0% up to 60 months. And 2012 Sonics with 0% up to 60 months. This inventory is running low, so hurry in. Also, don't forget, Saturday service, 8 a.m. till noon, with specials like lube oil filler and tire rotation for just $39.95. In Warsaw. Now back to Roger Grossman and Ray Davis on 1027 The Fan and 1027TheFan.com. Corey Branham out there to attend to Ryan Tepe. I think it's an ankle. Looks, it's, it looks maybe like that's, that's why I thought he traveled because he just he hit on somebody else's foot oh. there. Concord does have their athletic trainer here, but he's also the JV basketball coach. Jim Reed is the head athletic trainer for Concord, but he's sort of busy at the moment. So Corey Branham's taking care of things for now, and they will help that young man off the court. I'm sorry, did I say Tepe? I meant Long. Yeah. Jared Long was the injured player, and he's able to put no pressure at all on that left anchor. And Chris Swartout, one of the assistant coaches for Concord, will join Corey Branham and helping him over to the sidelines. If you ever saw his dad play, Jared plays just like his, his father does. Oh, he, right? he moves just like him. He dribbles the ball. He is just like a split image of his father. Poindexter will shoot the free throws for long, and he missed the first one. Jarrell, 6 out of 17 out at the free throw line. The Concord JV as a team is 55% at the stripe. Mangus out, Freeman in for the Tigers at 2.03 of the third. 17-13 Warsaw, and now Poindexter for the second of two. 